turn your eyes upon Jesus. Look full in his wonderful face. And the things of earth will grow strangely dear in the light of His glory and grace. O soul, are you and troubled no light in the darkness you see there's light for a look at the Savior and life more abundant Turn your eyes upon Jesus. Look full in his wonderful face. And the things of this earth will grow strangely dear in the light of His glory and grace. Good evening. My name is Jane Welch and I am your community leader for this Mass. We welcome everyone to our celebration. Thank you for joining us. Our guidelines require that your mask cover your nose and your mouth throughout the entire Mass. There will be no contact during the sign of peace, but please acknowledge each other's presence at this celebration. Thank you. Please stand as we welcome our pastor, Father Jerry Hurley. And let's all join together in worship and sing 10,000 Reasons.
Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, O oh my soul, worship His holy name. Sing like never before, O oh my soul, I'll worship Your holy name. The sun comes up, it's a new day dawning. It's time to sing your song again. Whatever may pass and whatever lies before me. Let me be singing when the evening comes. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, O oh my soul. Worship His holy name. Sing like never before, oh my soul, I'll worship your holy name. Rich in love and you're slow to anger, your name is great and your heart is kind. For all your goodness I will keep on singing. Ten thousand reasons for my heart to find. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, O oh my soul. Worship His holy name. Sing like never before, O oh my soul. I'll worship Your holy name. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, may the grace and peace of God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you. Thank you. Good evening. Welcome to this special celebration where we remember those who died during the course of the past year, those of your family members and loved ones. Uh, very special celebration and certainly has been difficult to get it all together in these times with the COVID, but glad you are here with us and glad we have the opportunity to pray with you again and remember those. And as we begin our celebration, we ask the Lord to be kind and merciful to us. I confess to Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Let us pray. O oh God, who will that your only begotten Son, having conquered death, should pass over into the realm of heaven, grant, we pray, to your departed servants, that with the mortality of this life overcome, they may gaze eternally on you, their Creator and Redeemer, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the Book of Wisdom. 
The souls of the just are in the hands of God, and no torment shall touch them. They seemed, in the view of the foolish, to be dead, and their passing away was thought as an affliction, and their going forth from us utter destruction, but they are at peace. For if before men, indeed, they be punished, yet it is their hope full of immortality. Chastise a little, they shall be greatly blessed, because God tried them and found them worthy of himself. As gold in the furnace, he proved them, and as sacrificial offerings, he took them to himself. Those who trust in him shall understand truth, and the faithful shall, ab shall abide with him in love. Because grace and mercy are with the holy ones, and his care is with his elect. The word of the Lord. Shepherd me, O oh God, beyond my wants, beyond my fears, from death into life. Shepherd me, O oh God, beyond my wants, beyond my fears, from death into life. God is my shepherd, so nothing shall I want. I rest in the meadows of faithfulness and love. I walk by the quiet waters of peace. Shepherd me, O oh God, beyond my wants. Beyond my fears, from death into life. Gently you raise me and heal my weary soul. You lead me by pathways for righteousness and truth. My spirit shall sing the music of your name. Shepherd me, O oh God, beyond my wants, beyond my fears, from death into life. Though I should wander the valley I fear no evil, for you are at my side. Your rod and your staff, my comfort and my hope. Shepherd me, O oh God, beyond my wants, beyond my fears, from death into life. You have set me a banquet of love in the face of hatred, crowning me with love beyond my power to hold. Shepherd me, O oh God, beyond my wants, beyond my fears, from death into life. 
Surely your kindness and mercy follow me all the days of my life. I will dwell in the house of my God forevermore. Shepherd me, O God, beyond my wants, beyond my fears, from death into life. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. We know that if our earthly dwelling, a tent, should be destroyed, we have a building from God, a dwelling not made with hands, eternal in heaven. We are always courageous, although we know that while we are at home in the body, we are away from the Lord. For we walk by faith, not by sight. Yet we are courageous, and we would rather leave the body and go home to the Lord. Therefore, we aspire to please Him, whether we are at home or away. For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ, so that each one may receive recompense according to what he did in the body, whether good or evil. The word of the Lord. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Jesus said to his disciples, do not let your hearts be troubled. Have faith in God and have faith in me also. Also, in my Father's house there are many dwelling places. If there were not, would I have told you that I am going to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back and take you with me, so that where I am you also may be. Where I am going, you know the way. Thomas said to him, Master, we do not know where you are going. How can we know the way? Thomas, Jesus said to him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. The Gospel of the Lord. Happy to be with you this afternoon to pray with you on the death of your loved ones. There's certainly a great number of people and significant people in each of your lives. You know, your son, your daughter, uh, Brad and Ginger. Uh, Jerry, you had five people, your wife, your son, um, two brothers, and a sister. A lot of people in that particular time. Eileen, the same way. A father and uh, what, two aunts and an uncle. Um, and all of you having somebody to pass, Matt, your mother, during the course of the year, and surely you a brother uh, or um, 
Yeah, your brother. And then another cousin as well. So, remembering all of them, uh, and, uh, you know, various and sundry ages and various and sundry illnesses, and that's what brings us together, you know. The uh, very nature of uh, our human condition and journeying through these struggles and these challenges. The first reading from the Book of Wisdom, a reading that we choose quite often for funerals, a reminder that the souls of the just are in the hands of God and no torment shall touch them. In the view of the foolish, they seem to be dead. And they're passing away with thought and affliction. They're going forth out of destruction. But it is not utter destruction. It is coming to the fullness of life in him. And that is why we gather this afternoon to remember that and to celebrate that they are at peace, that they are with him. And the second reading uh, is the reminder of that reality we know that when the earthly tent in which we dwell is destroyed, that we have a place uh, prepared uh, by him in the heavens. Um, that is a great promise, a promise that was made to each one of us when we were immersed into Christ Jesus and baptized into his life. A promise that he would go ahead and prepare a place for us and he would come back and take us with him so that we might be with him. And uh, while that doesn't alleviate the pain and suffering or the sadness of the loss of your loved one, it certainly does give us hope and strength that we are all journeying toward that ultimate fulfillment to be with him. Uh, Jesus, in describing it, saying, don't let your hearts be troubled or afraid. Have faith in God and have faith in me. And that is the really important piece because quite often people lose faith in the face of death because of the pain and the struggle and the suffering and the thinking, God, why didn't you do something? Um, he did something. He took them to himself. Now, I don't understand why we can explain, particularly younger ages. When people are older, we kind of think, okay, we kind of understand that better because there's an order in that process, particularly when it's a younger person, son, a daughter, um, a son. Uh, it is particularly difficult uh, because we, uh, we don't resonate in any kind of natural way with that reality. And yet, we trust ourselves to him and trust ourselves to his plan being completed for them. We live through the questions that we have, the myriad questions uh, that we are not able to answer. And while we could turn away, he is inviting us to be really trusting and to be hope-filled during the, this time period as we continue the journey when we don't know and don't have the answers and are not able to all answer all of the questions of our hearts or the questions of our minds. And so we uh, continue to journey in faith and hope throughout this time period. That is why we gather to offer that faith and hope to one another. We might strengthen each other because everybody feels the pain and the sadness of the passing of your loved one. Take time to remember them all. The candles have been lit now. Uh, one for each one of those, your loved ones that have passed during the course of the year. Jack Catherwood, father of Eileen Balmas and husband of Martha Catherwood. Mark Balmas, father of Brian Balmas. Susan Lammy, aunt of Eileen Balmas. Joan Catherwood, aunt of Eileen Balmas. Father Edward Balser. Karen Bergeron, sister of Chris Bergeron. L.J. Fols, uncle of Renee Bourne. Heather Hester, niece of Charla Bowden. Charles Brocado, husband of Claudia Brocado. Barbara Burke, mother of Pat Burke. Frances Burford, mother of Gail Cato. Ron Garner, 
family member of Janice Cannizzaro, Darren Michael Carter, son of Sheila Carter, Blake Blackwell, cousin of Anthony Carpenter, Mary Rogues, aunt of Karen Cox, Selby Cronin, son of Jesse Cronin, Hugh Eastley, husband of Mary Jack Eastley, Richard Benton, brother of Teresa Fuller, Michael Borg, brother of Shirley Gerard, Victor Galdes, cousin of Shirley Gerard, Edward Guidry, father of Phyllis Giamalva, Craig Giamalva, husband of Phyllis Giamalva, Car Arthur, brother-in-law of Terry Gibb, Rose Guratano, mother of Sebastian Guratano, David Gosselin, father of Steve Gosselin, Pauline Robertson, aunt of Steve Gosselin, Dale Treadway, uncle of Renee Gosselin, Vince Grafe, husband of Connie Grafe, Veronica Guidry, Patricia Spear, grandmother of Calise Hamburg, Elise Hawkins, mother of Paula and Renee Hawkins, Rodney Hip, husband of Jane Hip, Freddie Abraham, cousin of Philip Jabor, Daniel Crichton, brother-in-law of Philip Jabor, Ann Jackson, wife of Tommy Jackson, Richard Hamario, brother of Epi Hamario, Kathleen Persing, niece of Bitsy Hamario, Dr. Howard Clark, grandfather of Doyle Jeffcoat, Scott Leffemeyer, son of Chuck and Jean Leffemeyer and brother of Nikki McIntyre, Liz LaFontaine, wife of George LaFontaine, Thelma Nara Davis, mother of Scarlett Larkin, Samuel Cody Sullivan Jr., grandson of Lena and Jose Lopez, Bob Fuquay, father of Erica Lumagini, Douglas Rinney, father of Shelley Malone, Cody Mitchell, nephew of Jerry Maneri, Ben Tickner, husband of Cheryl Marsh, James Raylan Matthew, brother of John Matthew, Jerry Melton, uncle of Kelly McBride, Curtis Dale Rugeron, stepfather of Michael Medlock, P.J. Lejean, uncle of Julie Berry Michael, Cecil Heimel, aunt of Julie Berry Michael, Lorraine Delk, cousin of Julie Berry Michael, June Wagaspak, aunt of Julie Berry Michael, Sandra Naylor Barnes, sister of Al and Kimberly Naylor, Rudolph Gill Sr., father of Sheena Pace, Sandra Walker, sister of Debbie Pambianchi, Nancy Peterson, wife of Jerry Peterson, Charlene Nebling, sister of Jerry Peterson, Wayne Delano Peterson, brother of Jerry Peterson. Kenneth John Peterson, brother of Jerry Peterson. Scott Gerald Peterson, son of Jerry Peterson. John Braddock, brother of Judy Rainey. Benel Ramsdell, mother of Lori Ramsdell. Sean Richardson, brother of Jason Richardson. Gerald Eastlick, uncle of Jason Richardson. Nezzy Merritt, sister of Jimmy Searcy. Claiborne Morvant Jr., brother of Tammy Schmidt. Carolina Sweeney, mother of Matt Sweeney. Brennan Nix, daughter of Paul and Ginger Thomas. Richard Viberg, husband of Marianne Viberg. Sigrida Vulaban, father of Sheila Vulaban. Craig Morgan, father of Susie Walker. 
Betty Schuler, aunt of Ted Gray and Gretchen Ware. Olga Kalbach, great aunt of Colleen Welch. Angela Wineland, wife of Greg Wineland. You remember all of these, our brothers and sisters, let us turn to our, our Father and ask him to hear our prayers, which we place before him. Please respond, Lord, hear our prayer. In baptism, our departed brothers and sisters received the light of Christ. Scatter the darkness now and lead them over the waters of death. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Our brothers and sisters were nourished at the table of the Savior. Welcome them into the halls of the heavenly banquet. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Their families and friends seek comfort and consolation. Heal their pain and dispel the darkness and doubt that come from grief. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We are assembled here in faith and confidence to pray for our beloved departed family members. Strengthen our hope so that we may live in the expectation of your son's coming. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all of our own prayers and petitions, which are deeply in our hearts, we pray to the Lord. Lord Father, we ask you to hear all of these, our prayers on behalf of our brothers and sisters who have gathered in your presence this afternoon and all of those who have lost a loved one during the course of the year. We ask you to continue the work of restoring them and healing and strengthening them and blessing them with your kindness and your mercy. Continue your work in all of us throughout this year. We ask this in Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread we offer you, the work of human hands that will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands that will become our spiritual drink. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that this sacrifice of ours may be acceptable to God, who is our almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of my hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look at favor, we pray, O Lord, on the sacrificial offerings we present to you for the souls of your departed servants. And just as you bestowed on them the dignity of the Christian faith, grant them also its reward through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. In him the hope of blessed resurrection has dawned, and the sadness of death gives way to the bright promise of immortality. Lord, for your faithful people, life is changed, not ended. When the body of our earthly dwelling lies in death, we gain an everlasting dwelling place in heaven. And so we join the angels and saints in proclaiming your glory as we sing. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. 
Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew falls, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread. And giving thanks, he broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which shall be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. And therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Joseph, our Bishop, and all of your people. And remember all of our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. That with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with the Apostles, and with all of the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 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 And now we pray for the coming of the kingdom as Jesus has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. 
Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil and graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always freed from sin and safe from all distress as we await in blessed hope the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. Thank you, and let us be grateful for that peace and acknowledge it to one another. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him, who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life. Let us now join together to sing our communion hymn, Body Broken. Body broken, your blood flowing. Always knowing this is love, this is love, your body broken, your blood flowing, all for my sin. 
This is love. You are love. You meet me here in this space. You see me as I am and you embrace me. You gave your life in my place. In this meal, the mystery of grace. This bread broken. This wine flowing. Bringing us in, this is love, you are love. You meet me here in this space. You see me as I am and you embrace me. You gave my, your life in my place. In this meal, the mystery of grace. Unworthy as I am to hear you say, Come to me, beloved, don't walk away. I'm coming to your table to be fed. Remembering the cross and the blood you shed. You meet me here in this space. You see me as I am. You embrace me. You gave your life in my place. In this meal, the mystery of grace. Let us pray. Through these sacrificial gifts which we have received, O Lord, bestow on your departed servants your great mercy, and to those you have endowed with grace, the grace of baptism, grant also the fullness of eternal joy through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God continue to bless us, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended, and we go now in peace to love and to serve God and each other. I'm glad that you were able to be here with us, and uh, hopefully just praying with you and supporting you uh, encourages you and helps you grow in that faith and in that hope of eternal life as we continue to journey throughout this. Next year, this was a particularly difficult one with COVID, um, lots of challenges indeed, but i um, glad you could be here to pray with us. Okay. Please wait to be dismissed from your pew by an usher during our closing hymn. And let us all praise him together with our closing hymn, In Christ Alone. In Christ alone, my hope is found. He is my light, my strength, my song. This cornerstone, this solid ground, firm through the fiercest drought and storm. What heights of love, what depths of peace. When fears are stilled, when striving cease, my comforter. By all in all, here in the love of Christ I stand. In Christ alone, who took on flesh, fullness of God in helpless babe, this gift of love and righteousness.
Christ, scorned by the ones he came to save. Till on that cross, as Jesus died, the wrath of God was satisfied. For every sin on him was laid. Here in the death of Christ I Thank you. 